Some of the people most excited by Monday's eclipse. It's also a big day for photographers. Matt Crochel reporting from Breckenridge tonight on those trying to capture the moment through the lens. For many of us, our cell phone cameras are going to be the best way to capture the great eclipse. But for a lot of professional photographers, they've been preparing for this day for years. And for most of us, it's something we've never done before. Photographers are finalizing their battle plans. So what I'm doing is stacking two neutral density filters. It's going to be incredible. I mean, you get a million people shooting at the sky. I'm sure there's people a lot smarter than us going to come up with, you know, just amazing things. Greg Souls from Breckenridge put in the research on how best to capture this. And by um, not looking directly at the sun, by looking through the viewfinder in this, it's, it's safe. Hours planning where he will be to hopefully capture the eclipse in a unique way. I mean, you get a lot of good detail in the sun by doing that. The gear matters here. It's a very challenging subject matter. Will last about two or three minutes. For Arthur Balov, his style and specialization in time lapse photography will be put to the test. I'm going to use a 10 stop ND filter and probably shoot at a wider angle, so I'm not going to be super focused on the sun. And a lot of people um, composite images, take different images that were shot on a tripod and layer them kind of together to show different segments of the eclipse. With only a couple of minutes to capture the eclipse, they have to be just right. So I'm excited. It's a cool, cool event, and I definitely want to be there to watch it. However you end up capturing those pictures of the eclipse, we want to see them. Make sure to share them with CBS Denver. Reporting in Breckenridge, Matt Kroschel, CBS4 Mountain Newsroom. And we can't wait to see those photos, yeah, it right? It be fun.